Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our revision session. This is Mathematics and I'm looking at expanding and simplifying. And this particular section is very good for someone who's doing their N1 as well as a good foundation if you are doing your grade 9. So I'll, I'll encourage you, if you are doing your Mathematics N1 or your grade 9, to have a look at this lesson and let us look at the question here. It says uh, algebra, expanding and simplifying. And there is an example given, say simplify the following. And you are supposed to expand and after expanding, you are supposed to simplify. So this is what we are given. 2 times x plus 2 squared minus 2x minus 1 multiplying x plus 3. So how do you go about expanding that? If you are going to be able to do it properly, you need to be very sensitive to a few things. And the first thing that you need to identify is this particular 2 is multiplying the whole of this bracket squared and also this negative is affecting everything after it. But before you do anything, you need to um, open that bracket so it will become, this will be equal to, before you do anything, you have got 2. Now, the square part means you have got 2 of those brackets, which is x plus 2 and x plus 2. So you need to be very sensitive to that. And then minus 2x minus 1 and you have got x plus 3. And then this is equal to before you multiply by 2. So you first keep your 2. And then what you need to do is to open the bracket where the x multiplies the other x. And the x again multiplies the 2. And the 2 here will multiply that particular x. And the 2 will multiply the 2. So that's what we're going to do at first. So this will be x times x, it will give us x squared, and x times 2, it will give us positive 2x. Now you take the sign of positive x, that's what you are using there. And then you move on to say positive 2 times x, which is positive 2x, and positive 2 times positive 2, which is uh, positive 4. Then you close the bracket. So notice that this 2 is still multiplying everything inside. So you just make sure that you keep the 2. Uh, don't allow the 2 to, um, or don't multiply by 2. For example, do not multiply by 2 and you multiply by 2 so that you've got 2x uh, times 4 squared. So you mustn't do that first. You need to first open that bracket the way I've done. And then you have minus, and then you continue again with the same method whereby the 2x will multiply the x, and the 2x will multiply the 3. The minus 1 will multiply the x, and the minus 1 will multiply the positive 3. Now, what you need to do to be sensitive, as just to show you, is remember this negative. And this particular negative is yet to uh, open up and it's more like you have got a negative 1 multiplying. So uh, you need to be sensitive to that. So leave out the negative. And when you continue multiplying is 2x times x, which is 2x squared. 2x times uh, positive 3, which is plus 6x. And then you've got now, we're done with the 2x multiplying. You've got minus 1 times x, which is minus 1x. And minus 1 times 3, which is negative 3. You can use a calculator just to verify all that. Then this is equal to, you move on now to multiply again. Open the bracket, but this time you are multiplying by 2, whereby the 2x will multiply that. It will multiply that it will multiply that and it will multiply that it is an option that you need to do or 
if you want to simplify things inside you can actually simplify that can be simplified and that can be simplified so what you have is you have 2 x squared now 2x plus 2x it is plus 4x plus 4 then you have minus again you have 2x squared and then you have got 6x minus 1x which is positive 5x minus 3 so you if you wanted you could have done this before you then move on to make the 2 multiply that and make the 2 to multiply that and make the 2 to multiply that so if you have got that it becomes 2 times uh, 2x I mean 2 times x squared it will give me 2x squared and then 2 times 4x which gives me 8x and 2 times 4 it will give me 8 now I have got as I said it's more like I have got minus 1 and this minus 1 will multiply that the minus 1 is multiplying that and the minus 1 is multiplying that so what I have then is minus 1 times 2 2 x squared is minus 2 x squared in this case you just interchange the signs wherever there is a positive you put a negative where there is a negative you put a positive so minus 1 times positive 5 x is minus 5x and minus 1 times minus 3 is a positive 3 just look at the signs 2 was positive it became negative 5 was positive 5 became negative 3 was negative 3 now became positive then at this stage that is where you collect like terms here so we now simplify by collecting uh, like terms so when we collect like terms what you have look at what is similar so for example we have 2x squared and we have 2x squared there so when you bring it together you will have 2x squared now it has got a negative there with it it's minus 2x squared and then also if you look you have got positive 8x minus 5x so it's plus 8x and minus 5x and then lastly we have in this case um, a positive 8 plus 3 so it's plus 8 uh, plus 3 so you can see these are like terms that I was grouping together and then you can use a calculator now 2x squared minus 2x squared this will cancel to give us 0 now 8x minus 5x this gives us 3x it's 8 minus 5 and then 8 plus 3 it gives us 11 so when you simplify all this it is 3x plus 11 is there a way of testing this I think usually this is how I test it yes there is a way that I test this so what I do is for my testing, I choose any value of x. For example, let me make x be equal to 4. So I take 4 into the, um, in a way where there is uh, x, I put a 4. I put a 4. I put a 4 just to check what is the answer that I'm getting. And then when I do that, I will be getting here 2 into it's 4 plus 2 squared minus uh, 2 times 4 minus 1 and 4 plus 3 so this is what I'm having when I put the value of, uh, of x where there is uh, an x I put a 4 I'm getting a 23 here so this gives me 23 now I go to the other part the final answer here where there is X also I put a 4 there and see if ever it will also give me a 23 so when I do that I'll have 3 times 4 plus 11 and you see I'm getting a similar answer which is in this case 23 remember this is just to test 
Now, the fact that I'm getting the same value from the beginning before I simplify, I got 23. And then I test also with the final answer, I'm still getting a 23. If there was an error, this 23 was never supposed to be matching. At this stage, it shows that my simplification therefore is correct. So this is how I test my answers. Now, I was just trying to uh work on this question for you guys who are doing especially their grade eight i mean their grade nines you are now supposed to be able to do such simplifications and for those who are doing their mathematics n1 i hope this was of benefit to you remember guys if you want to get more of these videos you need to subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified every time we are posting a new video and also remember to share this channel with your friends so that they can also benefit remember sharing is caring We've come to the end of our lesson. I'll be doing three lessons on this uh, section of expanding. So watch out for part two as well as part three. And you'll be able to know how to simplify and expand. Thank you.